Welcome back to What's the 401 Sports. We're in the New York State of Mind with our New York Sports Report. Now, Mike, the NBA season, regular season, is upon us. So why don't we just take a quick, quick look at the preseason for both the Nets and the Knicks and give our impressions. Sure. I think the Knicks are certainly, we'll start with, with, with the Knicks. They have their work cut out for them, right? Because Porzingis is not going to be healthy. Um, and that's really going to hurt them. And I think one of the things that Knicks fans are going to start to see as they get 15 to 20 games into the season and they're going to struggle, you're going to hear the word tank. Absolutely, you're going to hear it a lot because that's what the Knicks fans are going to be leading towards. I think from what the Knicks have put together, this group and this roster, it's not necessarily it's something you know a team that's going to be able to compete for the playoffs. Uh, and it was a tough year that they had last season as well. You got a first year head coach. Um, you know you have a couple pieces that you can work with, but I think for the most part, it's going to be a difficult, difficult season for the New York Knicks. You're going to see regression, not progression, and I really do believe that. Now, as far as the Brooklyn Nets, I think that there will be some progress. I'm not sure how much, but I think that this is a team that remember two, three years ago was at the bottom of the barrel in the NBA, worst team in the NBA, and then you get no reward by being the worst team because they weren't even getting drafted picks. I think what they've been able to do with Sean Marks okay, and Kenny Atkinson, I think that they've put a good culture in place for this team. I think that they will compete. Making the playoffs is going to be very difficult. We've discussed this several times over the over the last month or so. Um, how you know what the the expectations will be for the for the Brooklyn Nets, um, but I think. This is a team that, despite these dismal records that they've put out the last couple of seasons, there have been some games that they've competed in. And I don't mean just against like some of the other poor teams in the NBA, even against some of the good teams. So I think that the expectations for the Nets should be a little bit more optimistic than it is across the river for the Knicks. Well, we're going to see a, um, a lot from the Knicks in terms of this is going to be Coach David Fisdale's inaugural season as the New York Knicks head coach. And we're going to see how well he handles the bright lights of the big city because they're going to shine bright and the New York City media is harsh. They can be harsh. So, I mean, it's going to be a rebuilding. It's going to be... Uh, they already know that they have a lot of young talent and they're really going to build their team through uh, the draft and so they're gonna see these young people develop and grow and it's up to them to nurture that growth and we're gonna see what is going to become of Kevin Knox you remember he was booed mer mercilessly <laughs> during the draft a la Kristaps Porzingis and we saw what how Kristaps handled it and what he was able to do during his rookie season so maybe you know maybe history will repeat itself and Kevin Knox can be the shining the shining star on the New York Knicks. And then also with the Brooklyn Nets, you know, you hit it on the head. This is a team that's rebuilding and they're, they're getting better each season. It's going to be incremental. They're, we're not going to really talk playoffs because I just don't think that's realistic. But they're definitely in position to win more games this coming season than last. They have a lot of depth on the team, a lot of ball handlers, a lot of shooters, and Kenny Atkinson is really um, harping on defense. And it is believed that D'Angelo Russell will have a breakout season. Like, this will be the, the year for him. Brooklyn hopes so. <laughs> right. <laughs>